Hello all, this is John Linville with a little update on my project to retarget the output from the Dunfield Micro C compiler to the Tandy color computer. What you see running here is a little clock app that I came up with. Um, it's keeping the time on the screen and uh, putting a lovely little colorful border spinning around the outside. Um, this is using an uh, interrupt handler. Uh, this is, of course, written in C. It's using an interrupt handler also written in C along with some uh, inline assembly macros that I added for that purpose uh, to do the timing uh, using the VSync interrupt. And then uh, the timing of the loop around the outside, you'll notice, corresponds uh, to uh, going around the loop with the color in one second. That timing is being handled with another inline assembly to to use the sync instruction, uh, which is also keying off the VSync interrupt. Um, anyway, this is my little demo app to show these two little pieces, uh, or this little piece going together. I also wrote this uh, running on the emulator. Uh, I've got it retargeted to where it uh, loads as a ROM pack. Uh, I didn't produce a physical ROM pack, so I couldn't do that on the real computer. But I thought this video, with all its <laughs> glowing glory, uh, would be more interesting in some ways than that. Anyway, uh, this is uh, about 250 uh, lines of C code, something like that. And it compiles down to about 1,700 bytes. Um, a lot of that is overhead from the uh, compiler, intrinsics, and libraries, and stuff like that. So. Uh, somewhat bigger apps might not uh, might grow somewhat more efficiently. Well, anyway, there's a little look at what I've been doing, and uh, I'm going to cut this short now. Uh, it's getting close to the end for the retro challenge for the summer. I don't think I'll totally have this project finished, but maybe I'll have something to show or something worth talking about. All right, well, be good. Take care, and as always, stay tuned.